You might notice that I'm not sitting in front of my normal gray color background today. I'm sitting in front of a green screen. A green screen lets you move your subject anywhere you want by pulling them out of the backdrop. I'll show you examples of that later in this video. Learning how to evenly light your green screen backdrop will give you better results when it comes time to edit your video. Hi, I'm Jim Costa. I'm a videography, photography, and technology guru, and I created this blog to help you to become a tech savvy senior. Now my tips and advice are useful to anyone, but my specific focus is in helping seniors become more familiar with technology to improve and better their lives. I've done a number of videos on improving the quality of your photos and, and your videos, as well as a number of videos on lighting, and I'm going to link to those in the comments section below. For the purposes of this video, I'll describe a basic green screen lighting setup that involves only two background lights. While two lights might be all you need for many scenarios, such as in an interview setup, keep in mind that the basic principles outlined here can be applied to wider and larger green screen setups as well. You just need to add more lights. The most crucial thing to remember when lighting your green screen is that any area of the backdrop that appears in the frame must be lit perfectly and evenly exposed correctly. If your backdrop is lit properly on one side but underexposed on the other, your composter or editor will have a very tough time pulling out a clean key. The same applies to a backdrop that's either over or underexposed. Any attempt to pull a key from a backdrop that isn't actually reading as green on camera will inevitably be a failure when editing. Notice the lighting in this image. This image is inconsistently lit. Therefore, the editor will have a difficult time keying the darker edges of the frame. My recommendation is to use soft light in any shooting scenario. Use big soft light sources to light your backdrop, in other words. If you point a hard light source, such as a tungsten light with no diffusion at your green screen, you're going to run into trouble. The light will have a hot spot, and there will be a gradient surrounding it, ultimately giving you an uneven light when doing the chroma key later. Conversely, if you were to point a tungsten light, say a 2K source, at the green screen, but use a large 8x8 frame with a silk in front of it to diffuse the light, you'll be in great shape as this ensures that the light is even and soft across the entire backdrop. Assuming your needs are relatively simple, you can use a minimum of two lights to illuminate your backdrop. I recommend placing one light with diffusion on either side of the green screen, a few feet back on a 45 degree angle. Right off the bat, your results should be pretty close, as you can fine tune and adjust the angle of each light to make sure that they're not overlapping too much in the center. In other words, you don't want to have a hot spot in the center of your frame if both lights are spilling onto each other. Be sure to adjust your lights and use flags as necessary so your light is as even as possible and the light from the lights doesn't overlap. You want to use the exact same lights on either side of the green screen for the sake of consistency. If you're using two different lights, you could run into exposure issues or even worse, color temperature issues which could once again cause headaches in post. So just use the same lights, same distance and angle from the backdrop, you'll be fine. On bigger productions, you need to use overhead lighting or additional light sources or even more diffusion. But the basic principle outlined here will apply no matter what. The important thing is flat, even lighting across the entire key so it's easy to pull out the person or the subject in front of the key, that's the key. I mean, no pun intended. You want a key properly, the flat even lining across the backdrop. Now let me show you what green screen can achieve on an actual shoot of mine. In these images, you'll see how the subject was shot in studio in front of a green screen. Here's what I was able to do with the video that we shot in an actual television commercial. Notice how the subject is moved out of the green screen and placed in front of his 
the another video source in the actual television commercial. I mentioned earlier that I'd show you what I look like using a green screen. Here I am underwater. Now I'm on Mars. Finally, here I am in space. Now if this is making sense to you, put Tech Savvy Senior in the comments section below. If you found the information that I provided in this video useful, please like it, comment below with your lighting tips or questions you may have about lighting or any video or production issue. Share the video if you know someone who could benefit from it. And remember to connect with Jim Costa. I'm available on YouTube, of course. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jim Costa Film. And if you want more information on becoming a Tech Savvy Senior, or you want to see other videos and photos, you can find Jim Costa Films on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, of course, and online. On YouTube, I currently have over 4,100 videos on my channel, Jim Costa Films. So feel free to subscribe and get lots of pro tips and tricks there. Also, I now have a new Facebook group called Video Producers and Content Creators. So look for that on Facebook to connect there and get even more pro tips and tricks.